Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Hello, more of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're playing Legendary Armin difficulty and we are here for a pretty mundane mission today. It's month number seven. Uh, we have um, already liberated uh, the entirety of Africa. We're just on the brink of researching plasma weapon. We just started it and Whilst we're doing it, we are uh, continuing to kind of gather intel to further advance and span the globe. So we're expanding at the moment. With that being said, here is an interesting mission where we can get some intel for further expansions. Um, Operation Gilded Ring. Uh, today we're uh, going to look at our prime spark bishop. The black spark um, which is quote unquote the tanky one we're going to go in with sharpshooter ranger assault specialist so pretty standard team and we're only up against seven to nine enemies plus we simply need to hack um, and facilities so it shouldn't be a problem now let's dive into it and get going and we have landed Time for us to explore the map a bit. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Nine rounds, and it's pretty far away. So let's see. Our assault is the one who is using shotguns at range. Uh, lights out the sniper has had the alternative build. Our ranger has a normal build, and yeah, we have, still have a squatty um, as a specialist. So yeah, let's take a look. Moving up to get a better understanding. We're starting in low ground, which is never desirable. I'm considering whether we want to kind of go up here and take it on an even playing field. There's a, there's a certain advantage to that. Maybe we're going to split the team just a tiny bit. Moving over. Our sniper most certainly could take some nice little high ground over here. And next turn advance to go further. Yeah, and by thinking about it, it is theoretically good to fight alongside this corridor. Yeah. Problem is it's a longer way, that's why I'm hesitant. We only have nine turns. Let's try to do our best. We're ending in the open here without cover. It's a bit of a risky maneuver. I've got eyes on an admin position. We've been spotted. Certainly didn't pay out, but then again, there is only so much you can do against um, against random uh, random spotting. Moon up. And let's try to shut down the drone. I don't want any um, any disorientation. So oh, wow, this is definitely going to be an interesting mission. Not getting anywhere. Took a risk, got punished for it, and took another risk to salvage the situation, got punished even harder. They're firing on this unit. I'm all right. Knock the wind out of me. 
Yeah, that's the problem with sending in no cover. Luckily, we only took one shot. Come on, miss. Yeah, I can't go up to here. It's a problem because we could be flanked, but I could go up to here and then use slug shot. No, I can't use slug shot because I am blind. Uh, I'm disoriented. Still a nice hit overall. Seven points of damage. That's good. Nothing that we could really use right now. Okay, let's use our sharpshooter. This here might be a kill and death from above. Very nice. Moving on ourselves into an even better position. Don't want to take any risks with a drone, to be honest. Only the best. Might be a bit overkill, but still. I rather take that than a situation where um, where I'm being flanked for the next turn. Okay, we could take these two guys. Just out of curiosity, like that would work, right? Yeah. No reason not to overdrive. Might as well use our cooldowns now. We're still going to have a few packs ahead of us. Perfect, that got rid of the cover. Moving up, that could be a kill. I wanted to save an action to act uh, to do the hack afterwards, but it's fine. Overall, it worked out. We killed what um, three plus the drone. That's four. So four down, five more to go. Comet awareness, decent, uh, it's a pretty decent PCS. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Moving up. We are a bit ahead of the curve, if you say so. so let's try to That's not alert. pull something, which means we're moving carefully. I'm all over it. And just use this round here for stabilization. Advanced PCSs are great, but I don't want to give them a mobility boost. So we're taking the reduced willpower. One moment, please. And steadying the weapon. 
All right, guys, here we go. They probably should have heard something, so I wouldn't be surprised if another pack would be engaging on us. Apparently they haven't, which means they must be quite a bit away from our position. Okay, as we guessed, they are really far away. Moving up without triggering anyone. Overwatch, Overwatch. Reload and Steady the weapon. Five more enemies to go, plus a potential reinforcement. Moving up here. Can't see the enemy yet, but we know they are ahead, right? On the way. Out. Everyone has full cover, which is perfect. Moving to well, with the exception of our support. So, really solid cover position. Sounds like a job for a turret. Affirmative. Cover now. Hear something? Next turn, I think we can take the hack and then just get out of here. Well, look at that. Pretty hardcore enemies. Luckily, we have steadied our weapon. Hmm, I am wondering. If we position ourselves up here, uh, that might be, we, we might trigger someone else. So we only have killed five. With that here, that's seven. But it could be up to nine enemies. Can we hit both of them? Need more spread. Well, theoretically, we can hit both of them probably by standing here.
can move up all the way to here and finish the Viper. Very nice. Got a flashbang. Which we would hit. Let's offer the aid protocol to Scorpion. Because he can be theoretically flanked. Okay, so much for our... So much for our flashbang. Shit. He can't war cry, move, and shoot. Mind you, that wouldn't have happened if we would have just if we would have just used the flashbang. Not to sound salty or anything. But that was unnecessary. Minimum damage, can't believe it. I definitely got that one. Okay, can't move all the way out to the extraction zone in one go. Which means we're moving her now. Sure thing. Time for the good old shotgun to the face trick. Eleven, that's awesome. My ammo's running low. This unit is relatively agile. No, I'm not going to take any chances that this guy is going to survive one more round. He unfortunately has half cover, so couldn't really do much. Watching. That's a Lancer, a Heavy Gunner, and a Sentinel. Fortunately, the Lancer seems to be an elite Lancer. Let's get out of here. I like the alien alloys. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Could deal with them. 
But I could also say, you know what, F it, and we're getting out of here. Moving out, and let's give our mech a little bit of cover. Can't fully get out, but we can get very far away. Normally, that's not a really good strategy to essentially extract only half of the team. But in this particular case, if they can only reach the mech, I don't think that it's a problem. Okay, we can evac, which means fast reload and a good old slug shot. and the mech is getting out of here as well. Not the cleanest of all missions, but considering the circumstances, it was okay. The biggest mistake by far was the entry decision to, uh, to take a risk, which led to a spiraling kind of event of negative yeah, RNG. And that made us use most of our cooldowns uh, right in the first engagement with the <clears throat> five enemies. But pulling two packs is never fun. And we're back for promotions. So that's what I want to see. All right, got a pretty standard um, ranger here, which would mean we would go into fortify next. I like it. Sprinter isn't bad for one uh, mobility. It's a bit pricey though. I think we're waiting for Kubikiri. Quarter targeting afterwards will be great as well. Oh, and that's great. Uh, that's also good. It essentially means plus two damage whenever we can flank someone. So yeah, the last talents for Hasker are really really good we should go for it as for our mech we can finally get the repair piece which means with that it should be uh, much much more healthier uh, much much more healthy six hit points um, upgraded bit will recover more hit points two charges per mission easy that makes it way more tanky As for our um, specialist, we're going with our standard route here. Got enough um, different specialists now. We wanted to give her the best potential aim and I think that paid off nicely. She was super far away and with the two uh, plus 20 aim to her aim, so 10 from damn good ground, 10, uh, 10 from lone wolf and even 10 from steady hands, like the 30, you could see she was hitting at all. So that was pretty good. I'm thinking about 
Uh, low profile is better than long watch. Yeah, we're going low profile. Long watch isn't too shabby. On the other hand, hmm. It means she sucks when it comes to um, engagements where, where someone is actually shooting at her. But we haven't tested it yet and we wanted to do an alternative build. So I'll just take the skill for the purpose of doing something different. She She's one of the characters where we wanted to test alternative skills. So yeah, that worked out well. Time to continue our mission and we got another specialist. Good, when we're now continuing the training, let's take a look at our overall roster at the moment. So we got like what? One, two, three, four, five, six assaults. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven grenadiers. One, two, three, four, five gunners. One, two, three, four, five rangers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sharpshooters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shinobis. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine specialists, which is damn good. One, two, three, four, five technicians. So it's probably either another technician um, or a gunner or a ranger that I could see. Let's take a look at our rookies. So we got a wow, we got two really high aim rookies. Making this a gunner wouldn't be too bad. That would actually be a nice idea. So let's make it a gunner and a ranger. Good, and we got some more. Oh, we got a reduction for the enemy strength. That's great. I like it. Will allow us to continue working here. Four days, uh, though, means we probably need to send an expert team. Can't just send the beginners into that. Let me find a squad. All right, got a pretty good team together. We only fight against 16 to 18 enemies. I'm fine with that extra pot. Couldn't really get it to 100%. I rather prefer um, the equipment. Although, let me double check. Yeah, I tried quite a bit, but it just won't go to 100% without really sacrificing some of the equipment. So, we will take Sean Sean against Harbringer Kuchais. Uh, mm, on, uh, no name or random. Um, specialist and nasty on to this mission which if we're successful we're going to reduce the enemy strength that means baseline is going to be reduced and that consequently means we can take more missions in the future before we liberate the area yeah and there we go that's already the next mission guys operation cryptic justice let's take a short look oh yeah that was a well-rounded team against 10 to 12 enemies and it's a smash or grab uh, smash and grab mission so yeah we should be fine that's uh, one of the easier missions thank you so much for watching that was a quick mission today we're coming back with a smash and grab mission the next time 
Um, as for still fighting intensely in uh, month number seven, let's take a look at our overall events that are going to happen. So we probably have five or six more um, uh, missions that are um, outstanding. The biggest portion is probably the supply drop. Um, if we're getting anywhere close to a thousand income, that would be a huge boost and we would probably be able to outfit our prime team completely. Uh, let alone I could finally buy a couple more of the tactics um, such as squad size infiltration, parkour, mentally awake, lightning strike. So yeah, few really important um, options here. We could also probably do uh, the final upgrades such as with the resistance communication. A couple of proving ground uh, projects are uh, due as well. So yeah, money, it's very easy in long war to get rid of your funds and even a thousand at this point is not too much. Like we're going to earn more and more as the campaign uh, continues. But now is the point where the campaign kind of breaks in where it snowballs into our direction. Going to do all of the nice little research so that you guys can see the big weapons and then we're going to finish the uh, standard storyline. I'm thinking at some point in the game I'll just skip many of the missions um, simply to not make it a 300 um, kind of episode series. Once the prime teams are equipped with quote unquote the best equipment um, I think we can focus on killing all of uh, the uh, Chosens and essentially then playing the Golden uh, Path missions. It's still going to take some time to do that, but since many of the Golden Path missions really require you to yeah, infiltrate a longer time, I'm not sure if it's really feasible to do um, 40, 50 missions in between before we do have one storyline mission. Um, probably effective from a from a resource standpoint, but from a viewer standpoint at that point, uh, the campaign is pretty much over. Um, Endgame units in Long War are strong, but so are your units. I mean, you have seen how busted uh, they can uh, they can be. So it doesn't matter that a sector port has 50 or 60 hit points and five or six armor. If you're going to shred through that like butter and use the Kubikiri with 100% crit, then it's GG for the sector port. There is not much that it can do. Now, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next run. Bye bye.